G'day viewers, how's it going? I'm hoping that today I've got a video that no one has seen before. Uh, to my knowledge, at the point of making this video, I've not seen this done yet. Um, what I've got here is a whole pile of ribbon videos. Ribbon, uh, sorry, ribbon videos, yeah right. Uh, ribbon wire, what do you want to call them? Um, and these are the only only ones that have had gold on the ends. I've taken the gold off. If any of them had the silver that you sometimes see, silver colour, not silver but silver colour, I haven't worried about them. Only the ones with the gold that was on the ends. Because I want to know if the gold goes all the way through. Now I'll turn the video the camera around. I've got a bucket full of all different sorts of ribbon wire, even ones that are phones, big thick ones, skinny ones, gold ones, white ones, black ones, anything that had gold on it. This is a pretty long one. Okay, now I can guarantee you that every single one of these had gold on the ends. And I reckon there's a possibility that it goes all the way through but because i've not seen a video on it and i don't know for sure the only way to find out is to do a video so we're all going to find out together this is the first time i've seen i will have seen it done by doing it myself so i don't know weight wise what's in there it's, this is probably a five kilo bucket which would be for oh, 10 pound, 2.2 pound to a kilo, so maybe a fraction over 10 pound for the Americans. But because the buckets are five kilo, it doesn't mean it weighs five, it's only plastic ribbon. Uh, geez, I don't know, I'm guessing it's hard to see with the light plastic, but okay, I, would, I would estimate a kilo all up in weight. Um, so let, let, let's just say roughly a kilo, I say, for, say roughly two pound, um, for those who like to know what they start with, um, yeah, this may lead to nothing, but this is how we're going to find out. So, what I've got is my fire pit ready. I've got a tin can in there. I've got the wood all ready to go. I'm going to put a lid on, just sitting on top. Okay, I'm only going to sit it on top. I'm not going to press it on, not because it, it's so rusted it wouldn't anyway. But I don't want to seal the air off. I need it to oxidise. I'm only going to have the lid sitting on there when there's a chance of ash flying up around here. I don't want ash getting in there. But once it burns down to so just coals on the outside, I'll flick this off so it has a chance to oxidise. And I assume that it's not going to take very long to burn all this down. So it'll melt first, being a plastic, but then it should get to the point where it like charcoals and just crumbles and burns away to nothing. Um, then I can put all the, let's call it ash, into acids and see what we got. Maybe a waste of time, there might be no gold in it, but only one way to find out. So I'm gonna, I'll have to do this with two hands, but I'll stuff all these in here. I'll fill it up off camera. I'm just showing you that I'm going to stuff it in. I may even need to do two loads. I don't know if I'll get all this in in one load. Maybe as some of it starts to burn down, it will make room for more. Yeah, I'll get I'll get a fair bit in there. So I'll do that off camera, and I'll come back to you. Okay, it took some doing, but I got it stuffed in there. Um. I had to really cram it down. There's a couple of pieces that fell down the sides, but one under there as well. But I can't help that. So most of it's in there. Uh, so now I'm going to light it up and let it cook. And we'll go from there. Okay, so they're totally burnt. And I crushed them down with an iron bar just to make sure that they were brittle. You can see this copper in there. Um can't see any gold yet but also you can see on the edge of the tin about there that the tins flaking into the ashes uh, that's the problem with using these tins 
I wish I had something made of stainless steel. But since there's tin in there, and tin is a nightmare when it comes to refining gold, I'm going to soak this in hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to put it into a beaker, some water, and some hydrochloric acid. I really don't expect to see any gold in this, but never going to know if I don't try it. Almost need two hands, I think, to get this out. There's aluminium in there because some of those uh, cables were aluminium coated. Pretty sure I got most of it. A few specks there, I'll try and get those out. About as good as I'm going to get. Alright. Well, let's give these uh, sides a squirt down because there's a lot of stuff on the side here. Now I'll put some water in there. Now I don't expect there to be any silver, so I'm just going to use tap water. Um, I'll fill it up just to where it covers all the stuff, and then I'll put some hydrochloric acid in and put some heat on it. I've got water in there now. The major problem that I have with using a hydrochloric bath first is before I go to a nitric soak, I'm going to have to make sure I've got every single bit of hydrochloric acid rinsed out. But it's a necessary evil because I'd rather have plenty of washes than to have tin in my solution. You just don't want tin in your solution, trust me. It makes so much headaches for yourself. So now I'm just going to have that boil for a little bit. And uh, see it's already starting to react. And there's no heat on it yet. So I'll give that time to work and then when there's no more reaction, I'll cool it down, completely rinse it thoroughly and then do a nitric, um, nitric bath. Well, I've rinsed the, uh, the liquid off. Uh, this is only some of the beakers. I've rinsed about six beakers. Uh, you can see a lot of copper in there. But uh, I waited until the liquid was coming out fairly clear. Still a bit yellowish, but better than the grey that it was. It was a really dirty grey before. Um, I'll keep rinsing it, I'll probably give it two more rinses. And then I'm fairly certain that there's no tin left in there. I don't know what these colours are, probably small fragments of copper. Um, I'll, I'll put that back into here. Well, I don't know what's in the liquid, probably small amounts of copper. Um, once I put all that back in here, wash it a few more times, I'll put a nitric bath, and just to make sure that I've definitely got all the hydrochloric acid out, I'll give it a uh, stannous test, in case any aquarigia formed and there's some golden solution, but I don't think there will be. So we'll come back when I get to that stage. Okay, it's been on heat now for about two hours, and I've been adding nitric acid. It was getting quite a violent reaction, reaction but now there's nothing. I'm pretty sure that all the copper has been dissolved. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this off, all this liquid, and put a fresh batch in just to make sure. Um, I need used nitric for another project, so it's not a problem. So just to make sure I've got all the copper, I'll put a new batch in. I've had the second dose of nitric on for half an hour on heat as you can see and there's no reaction whatsoever apart from just the boiling so uh, I'm fairly certain that I've got all the copper there is some discoloration in the liquid but not a lot so uh, I'm going to add a little bit more nitric and then let it sit for a little bit longer to make sure and um, then I'll drain it all off 
rinse it thoroughly and we'll do some aqua regia. Okay, so I've had aqua regia now um, simmering away for at least an hour. Time to do a check to see if there's any gold. There's a few fragments in there because I haven't filtered it yet. There's little black spots are just bits and pieces of rubbish that's in there. And uh, that tells me there's nothing in it. It kind of looks like a, a little bit purple, but it's not. It's just it's just the rubbish that's in it. And for the work that involved, even if that was a hint of gold, it's certainly not worth it. I'll bring it into the light and have a look. There's sunlight. No, no gold. So it's up to you guys, but in my opinion, there's no gold. And it's not worth keeping, and I won't be keeping them anymore. But now we know. Thanks for watching. See you later.